Hey everyone, Joe Lance here. Today we're in Houston, Texas, going to get some breakfast, guys. Today we're outside Coco. Coco, crepes, waffles, and coffee. So I've heard this place is excellent. Apparently it is Houston's original crepery. They have a couple locations around. This one happens to be by, I don't know, university. I'm on University app nonetheless. But anyway, so what they're most known for, guys, what they have is a variety of like really unique signature succulent what do they call them savory crepes guys long story short i'm gonna tell you i haven't had much crepe exposure in my life we're gonna change that today it's supposed to be really good so let's head in i'm gonna order a whack of different items and uh it sounds fun oh by the way they have smoked salmon you know i'm coming for you let's go eat all right so here are all the food again so houston's original crepery so of course mostly i got crepes I'm not a big waffle or pancake person, but I will say crepes have a little bit of a special place in my heart. Usually they're just so good. But here's a fun fact for everybody. So I've actually never had a savory crepe in my life. I've only ever had dessert crepes. And I do like sweet dessert crepes. I have never had a savory crepe, but we are changing that today. In front of me, I have one that's really interesting. I have a Merguez Moroccan sausage i've never had moroccan sausage i'm gonna try some moroccan food let me know if you should try some down below so i get to try it one today i then have the create your own crepe yes you have an option to create your own so i made my own stuff with like greens and smoked salmon i love smoked salmon speaking of which i also have a smoked salmon panini over here which looks amazing like i said i'm a big smoked salmon person absolutely love it it's one of the few times i like cream cheese I have their uh, Cocoa House salad, which looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. This is one of the most pretty looking salads I've seen in a long, long, long time. We got um, cheese, we got almonds, we have a lovely pepper, raspberry vinaigrette. I got it on the side, um, and yeah, just looks delicious. I have the beef bourguignon, uh, which is a, like, kind of like the stewish beef bourguignon French. I think it's a French dish. Uh, and if I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's like creamy, beefy, mushroomy goodness. I love all those things. And uh, then the creme brulee crepe. Guys, this is a creme brulee crepe. We have the burnt sugar on it, which is amazing. Chocolate, strawberries, whatever is on the inside. So I'm pumped. I got one of their iced coffees to start. Because you're not a big iced coffee person. And this. This right here, technically it's an iced Americano. It was so good, I got a second one. So what is crazy about this coffee, and I didn't expect this, this is like shocking. It is so smooth, it is not bitter at all. So much so, I ordered it black. When the gentleman gave it to me, I questioned if he put sugar in it. And how I like my iced coffee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh that's the best thing ever. A little bit of cinnamon and a sweetener, or Splenda, whatever you like. But a little bit of cinnamon, guys, and nice coffee is like amazing. So where am I gonna start? Of course, I'm gonna start with the smoked salmon, guys. I love this stuff. We got some onions, capers, smoked salmon. I did get picked my bread. I went with a wheat bread versus a white. So let's give that a bite. Something about smoked salmon and cream cheese. A little bit of the spinach in there. And we got a good portion of smoked salmon there and they're really big pieces. It's not just like a uh, thinly whatever, it's beautiful. Guys, some of the cream cheese capers and smoked salmon. By the way, kids, eat your greens. Always eat your vegetables. Would recommend. The bread's really soft, with a nice crispiness on it. But that's smoked salmon, guys. I love smoked salmon. That's why I got it in my panini as well. So the panini is finger food. I don't really eat crepes or finger food. You know what, guys? Why didn't I start with the salad, actually? I'm going to just go with the salad. I don't know really try to start with my vegetables, but... So, guys, we got some strawberries. We have a lovely little cheese on here. The almonds. Give us a bite. Mm. Crisp greens, fresh strawberries. That ghost cheese is a really nice flavor. Try it with just a little bit of the vinaigrette. Mm. 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 Game changer. They make that here. But those the blended raspberries, there's so much raspberry in that. It just gives like this lovely kind of smoothie, blended berry texture, if that makes sense. A little bit of pepper. And then like the kind of bitterness of that goat cheese, very delicious. I will say for the sake of these items being hot, I'm just gonna come back to this. That's delicious. 
You're about to witness the first time Joel eats a savory crepe. Let's try this Moroccan one, the Moroccan sausage. So what's really interesting about this, I get some kind of a cream sauce. Let's see what it is. So let's see what this cream sauce is all about. Mmm. Ooh. Bit of a zest to it. Definitely a cream. Garlic. Let's see. So getting in this actual crepe itself, I see some carrots. I see some potatoes. I see some lovely looking mushrooms. Oh my gosh, very, very good. So it's incredibly moist. It really kind of gets like the remnants of almost like a cream soup, a cream of mushroom soup. The, how do I put that? The richness, the savoriness, just the way it kind of really complements that cream. Almost get like a like cream of mushroom notes, which is these nice strong herbs just really coming through. Actually, you know what, hold up everybody. I was wrong. What am I saying? This is not the Moroccan sausage. This is the beef, which makes more sense. Okay, good. that makes more sense. So yeah, so we had the, uh, obviously, potatoes, the carrots, the uh, tender pieces of beef. I was gonna say, because I was getting these really, I get them these really, 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 really nice flavors. But then I started looking and thinking, I'm like, no, 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 I'm totally wrong. This is the beef. Really enjoyed it. The pieces of the beef in there are tender. It just, it's like a warming, kind of, I don't know, home cooked meal. Home cooked meal in essentially a panini. And that cream sauce on it, now makes more sense, guys. Well, I was saying there's like cream out, like almost cream of mushroom flavors, etc. So there you go. Don't listen to me. The beef, very, very good. All right, now we have the Moroccan sausage. We got some definite kind of caramelized onions in there. Oh, well, let's get a good bite. And that just looks amazing. It looks so moist and tender. Okay. Whoa. All right. What on earth? The caramelized onions in here, the mushrooms in here, the richness of the sausage, all of those delicious flavors combined with those incredibly, incredibly. There is sweetness, there is creaminess. I have lots of cumin. This is so good. This is such a game changer. I really don't even know what, to say, like, what else to say. Just, this is fantastic. Savory crepes are a good thing. And the way these little sausage bits are, the little, little rounds. Mmm. Mmm. Cumin. Sweet. Savory. Yeah, like literally the sausage is even sweet, right? With the sausage is sweet. Something is like, guys, 10 out of 10, must buy. Next, we have the Make Me Your Own. I put a Chipotle glaze on it. In addition to every, like, all the smoked salmon, all the veggies, everything I put in here. And I like that feature, because I like, I love so much stuff. Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot everything I had in here. I had capers and onions. I had jalapenos. Look at that. Guys, I love, like, flavors. I love toppings. And this just looks perfect. So perfect. Let's give this a shot. Capers, onions, salmon. Oh my gosh. Just like, let me open this on up. Try this Chipotle by itself. Chipotle glaze, you get a nice Chipotle flavor. A little like smokiness, but it's nice and sweet. There's a definite good bit of like fillings in here. The jalapenos and everything. And I'm gonna see, I think the, let me try this without everything. No, the sweetness is still, I want to say sweet, it's not like sugar sweet. It's just this lovely aspect. I'll try this crepe by itself. Guys, the way they're cooking the grapes, the texture is just fantastic. 
I absolutely love, love, love the combination. A little bit of jalapeno I have going in there. Just give it a nice spice, a nice richness. Very good. And that salmon is so dang good. At this point, I'm just picking it out. Woo! Last but not least, a lot of crepes. But shout out savory crepes, because I think I actually might argue. Yeah. Let me know if you like dessert crepes or savory crepes better down below. I actually might be on Team Savory, especially after that frickin' sausage one. That was just mind-blowing. Try that Moroccan sausage. Oh, try the coffee, too. I will not be needing the Cholula for this one. Creme brulee. Burnt sugar crust. Oh, guys, can you hear that? One sec. It is crispy. We got a lovely whipped cream. Obviously, some strawberries. Some chocolate. Sauce. This one, I don't even know what's on the inside. Some sort of, oh guys, look at this. Look at that lovely, gushy looking cream we got in there. I'm gonna see what that cream is all about. Oh, strawberries are inside too. Okay, it's almost like a vanilla pudding. Let's try this in combination with that burnt sugar top. Something about burnt sugar is just such a unique and identifiable flavor. All right, burnt sugar and chocolate strawberries. Let's go. Do like vanilla, almost puddingy filling. It gives this crazy texture. That burnt sugar. Okay, wow, guys, look at this. I have a full piece of just burnt sugar right here. This is the best thing ever. Mm. That burnt sugar with the vanilla cream in here, it gives you crispy, sweet, crunchy. I, I don't even know what to say. I would, I would even say, like, I'd get, get, like, extra burnt sugar on top. I think they have caramel. I would love caramel on this. I don't even know what to say. The strawberries. It's too good. I need a minute to like collect my thoughts. So, anyway. Oh guys, I don't even, I don't even know what to do. I don't know, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do guys. But anyway guys, Coco Crepes, really, really cool spot. I know there's a couple locations. This one is uh, by the, I think it's by the university. They call it the, uh, what's it called? Rice something, rice something, something. If you're from the area, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, would recommend. They have a tres leche crepe. Not gonna lie, I definitely want to come back and try that someday. But this was delicious. This was phenomenal. Definitely try the Moroccan sausage crepe. That was the best thing ever. The smoked salmon was delicious. I loved that salad. Oh, I'm gonna bring that back salad in my life. I need a little bit of help with that, everybody. Till next time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, sometimes I say happy, hungry, happy eating. And this you can share. This is really, really rich. Mr. Have all those crepes. This is really rich. But in the best way possible, I come in for dessert and grab a coffee. So, until next time, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.